Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now at the lighter colour blend mode. And just a reminder that the way blend modes work is that you have a base layer at the bottom and above that you have a blend layer and it combines those two using a blend formula that at the moment this is the lighter colour one and the result is what you see which you sometimes call the result layer. The lighter colour blend mode is in the lighten group. It is equivalent very much to the darker colour in the darken group. And it's calculated by saying it takes the base layer and compares it with the blend layer. It calculates the luminosity and doesn't, as many other of the blend modes, look at each channel of red, green and blue separately. It combines them first and then compares them so that overall for each pixel the lighter colour from either base or blend mode layers are shown as a result. And as a result of this we're working with perceived lightness as opposed to any other sort of calculated value because generally we see blue as darker and ye yellow as lighter and the others in progression. So let's have a look at this so here we've got a colour wheel here and above this we've got a fill layer which is just at the moment in white and we're going to make this darker gradually and you'll see down the left hand side here the colour of the fill layer as we reduce it. So as I bring this down here see it's getting darker but first of all I change the blend mode to lighter colour so now when I bring it down the colour wheel appears and yellow appears first. Then it gradually leaps over there to the green and the cyan and the red and blue last. Makes a bit more sense if we do it this way. Same thing. We're going to put a layer on top. We're going to change the blend mode to lighter colour. And then we'll bring the colour of the top layer down and then yellow comes through from the bottom first to another now when we're looking at it yellow is the lighter colour yellow is perceptually lighter than this colour grey we bring it down and then cyan is lighter than this colour grey until we go down through green magenta and red so blue is still darker than this colour grey and eventually you get to see the blue Something else we can do here to show the, the way this works is if we take this now and we go to if we go to HSL and reduce saturation, they all go down together. So HSL does not so show perceptual colour. If I go to the black and white, then they are start off as white, although you can always change them individually. But if I go to the vibrance control and I turn down the saturation here, which is different to the saturation in HSL, as I turn this down, now you see the actual perceived black and white. So this is here, yeah, blue is perceived as being darker and so on down to yellow, which is seen as being the brightest. So overall then, key points about this is it combines red, green and blue before it does the comparison so it's not working individually on the channels of red, green and blue. So it compares luminosity or lightness and picks the lighter version from the bottom base layer and the upper blend layer. And it calculates this luminosity as taking 30% of the red, 59% of the green and 11% of the blue. So in other words, green has a significantly increased, uh, a significant effect, and that's because of the way that our eyes work. It's often the same when you actually use it in practice. It often looks the same as when you're using Lighten. And you think, well, what's the difference? And this is the difference that we've been talking about. Black is still transparent. And so white kind of wins in the competition between the two. And typically in uses that we find is like used for selecting lighter colours, tinting shadows, selective colour lightening, outlining effects, 
and adding text, which you can do. We can talk about some of these in the next video. Anyway, that's it for now, and thank you very much for watching.